it was something that was really just a personal decision where, you know, I didn't agree with what was going on. They have to respect our flag and they have to respect our country. I'm going to continue to stand with the people that are being oppressed. Uh, to me, this is something that has to change. Part of what makes this country special is that we respect people's rights to have a different opinion. I think it's very disrespectful to our country. I think it's very, very disrespectful to our flag. When there's significant change, and I feel like that flag represents what it's supposed to represent, and this country is representing people the way that it's supposed to, I'll stand. When you get on your knee and you don't respect the American flag or the anthem, that's not being treated with respect. The competitive drive of athletes is what makes them far superior in their respective sporting fields than the average American citizen. From a young age, these competitors are taught to outlast their foes no matter the cost and in the end, win. Even with all these fiery attributes, it takes a lot to not only praise, but also strongly endorse and defend the man who replaced you at your position. San Francisco 49ers select Alex Smith, quarterback, Utah. That's where the 49ers is Alex Smith comes in. The number one overall pick in the 2005 draft by the Niners. The on-again, off-again quarterback started until Jim Harbaugh was asserted as head coach and Colin Kaepernick flashed his potential in 2012. The following season, after Smith suffered a concussion, Cap took over, leading the team in the playoffs with a record-setting 181 yards on the ground against Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, along with two rushing touchdowns and two passing touchdowns. They'd outlast the Falcons, make the Super Bowl, and be one pass interference call away from lifting the Lombardi Trophy. Unlike the NFL... You always honor and cherish our great American flag. The vitriol would later ensue. Donald Trump used Cap as a political prop. Cap's original protest to bring awareness to the injustices black Americans face every day because of systemic racism was transformed by Republicans. Smith, who suffered a career-ending injury in his last season with Washington, spoke with the Dan Levitard show on Colin Kaepernick and Cap's current unemployment status. It was absurd. I think equally that it was only a few years later when you're like, this guy doesn't have a job? That was hard to imagine. It still is. A guy with his ability and his trajectory that all of a sudden isn't playing. It reminds me of Aaron Rodgers' quote to ESPN, the magazine's Mina Kimes, where he said, I think he should be on a roster right now. I think because of his protests, he's not. He then added it would be ignorant to suggest cap stance didn't play a role in his employment status. The players know it. MAGA football fans who live in a world of alternative facts know it. And the movement started in the White House. NFL owners don't want to pick him up because they don't want to get a nasty tweet from Donald Trump. Do you believe that? Trump publicly shamed the National Football League into leaving Cap unsigned. He brought up the flag. He brought up the military. He brought up everything conservative America holds sacred and true and views anything that is dissent or that is not nationalism as a traitor and enemy of the state. This is a very winning, strong issue for me, Donald Trump said in a phone call, according to a sworn deposition given by Cowboys owner Jerry Jones and reviewed by the Wall Street Journal. Tell everybody, you can't win this one. This one lifts me. And in turn, Jones, who essentially mandated all owners go in line with the Rams, then in St. Louis, being moved to Los Angeles, Follow Trump's orders. In turn, the list is long. Kellen Clemens, Mark Sanchez, E.J. Manuel, Aaron Murray, Garrett Gilbert, David Fales, Matt McGloin, Cooper Rush, Austin Davis, and many more quarterbacks who pale in comparison to Cap were signed. According to the Twitter account, at CapWatch, it has now been 1,162 days of Kaepernick denied employment in the NFL.